going to show you how to do some basic editing and get the whites to be whiter. So I open up the adjustments panel and I'm going to click on there's white, medium, and black. So mid uh, lights and darks. If you click on the light one and then click on what's supposed to be white, this may be the only thing you need to do to fix a whole piece. But we're going to make a couple other adjustments. Um, something else, I'm going to blow it up. Whoop, a little too up mark far there. Um, the whites are definitely wider. I'm going to go to exposure next. There's exposure offset and gamma correction. We're not going to touch offset and gamma correction. We're just going to do exposure and you can kind of see where it kind of gets some depth. So it lightens it up a little bit more. We do, it's very minimal. Another one, you can kind of turn it off and on in the layers palette to see, but I think we need to make some more adjustments because I think there's some contrast that's uh, missing. So we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we will also go to layers and or saturation hue and saturation like later obviously um you don't want to blump pop it out all the way but maybe this is a, a 17 something like that is good you can kind of really push it to see but you're really losing a lot of the legs there um i'm just going to go under 20. and then i did kind of darken up the brightness again you can turn things off and on to see if it's helping that's why i love the layers palette just making decisions you can always go back in into those things and adjust okay and now uh, the curves it kind of looks like my whites might not be white I'm gonna go back into the curves palette make sure I have that white and click somewhere else and I'm not sure it did anything, so we're going to go and test. And you may decide that you can just throw some things away. Well, that one I didn't like throwing that away. I went ahead and undid that one. I really can't tell what's happening, if anything happened with that last curves palette, because I must have had a white white. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that into the trash can. And again, I'm going to toggle on and off the other layers just to see what we had. This is the original scan. It's a lot of blue in there. This kind of really brightens it up. And it's just okay. Um, that may be enough. Sometimes it's just the curves that you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and I always like to scan, uh, save it with an F on the end, like for final or finished or fix. Um, and I do have to save the Photoshop document so that I can always go back and get it get it and then I'm gonna guess go ahead and save a JPEG of this as well and then I'm gonna go in and I just I that royal blue just doesn't seem like it's popping as much as it could so I'm gonna go in and adjust the hue and saturation and I'm going to go in saturation and wow, does that really get those blues to pop, but doesn't really affect much of anything else. But boy, that is really allowing that to pop on off, right? There's off and now it's on. So I really like that. I'm going to go ahead and save as save on top of that other one and do want to replace that. And then I'm done looks good the hue saturation didn't really affect the orange and the yellow which is great